Okay, super quick video, but Warren did its own video. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers, and so I'm working on a video right now um, with my water-cooled 3080, trying to push it as far as I can, and I'm redoing all my benchmarks. Um, the 1080p ones and the 4K ones, but I, I, um, ran into a snag with the 4K benchmarks because I was hitting the power limit even with the shunt mod. So I wanted, like, 2200 megahertz locked in 4K. Forget the power draw, but I, I was also not confident enough to double shunt i mean i'm confident but i, I don't want to pull that much power from two eight pins if it was three eight pins sure but two eight pins man that's that's got to be violating some kind of spec like never mind violating that's like gonna burn my house down you know what i mean so anyway i just needed like maybe like 30 or 40 more watts to like headroom to play with not a full shunt worth but like a bios flash worth right Anyway, proceeded to try all the BIOSes. Um, Founders Edition doesn't work. It gives you the same error as the old Turing A non A error. So I guess the Founders Edition has its own like chip that you can't flash on and off. Um, I tried the uh, the tough. Um, that one messed all the settings. Didn't work. Tried the EVGA for the Win Three. That didn't work. Um, then I tried the new for the win three, four fifty watt BIOS and it sort of works. Let me explain. So when you flash the for the win three BIOS on the XC3 card, it actually shows like a phantom third eight pin in GPU Z. And then it just, it just grabs whatever reading is off of your first, um, eight pin. So that the, the, the first 8-pin and the third 8-pin are going to have the exact same reading. So if you use the stock 400-watt BIOS, it doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't give you enough headroom. But if you use the 450-watt BIOS, it gives you just enough headroom. Like, like it gives you a little wattage bump. Um, let's go to the, uh, the gaming rig, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Oh, by the way, um, I measured... I measured it with a kilowatt meter from the wall. This BIOS flash gives you about 50 extra watts. It's not like, it doesn't give you the full 450 on your XC3, but it can give you up to like 400, like 390. So it, it's still worth doing. It's, it's still like, they're never going to release a BIOS for the XC3, but this one gives you a little bit of headroom and you don't have to shunt mod your, um, your card. So, yeah, I'm going to show you that right now. All right, guys, how's it going? Okay, I'm going to show you this really quickly. I already have all the... You, you can actually see that I already have all these BIOSes here. Uh, so, I have the four, the 450 watt uh, ROM already saved. So, if you are in my Discord or if you want to hit up Twitch tomorrow, I can send you the file directly. But... Okay, so this is the file that you download from the EVGA forum. This is the 450 watt for the Win 3 BIOS, right? But what happens when you try to update? Check this out. Yes, I want to flash, please. It's going to tell you that, the, that there's a board mismatch, right? And EVGA did this on purpose because they don't want you to flash the 450 watt BIOS on the XC3. Right? So it's like, no display adapters were compatible with this update. So they did, they did this on purpose, right? But, we can get around their little trick with a little trick of our own. Um, where, what's my, uh, gotta go to the folder where it's all at. So there's a new NV flash, right? The the for the the four hundred watt for the Win Three ROM, you can download this from the Tech Power Up 
um, the BIOS repository. So what you want to do, NV flash 64 dash six, you got to do dash six to um, overwrite PCB mismatches. And then you flash the 400 watt ROM first. And then it's going to do all this yada yada. Do you want to overwrite? Yes, yes. And essentially what we're doing is you flash the 400 watt, the stock one first, you do a reboot, then you do the update. And what that essentially does is it's, it's tricking out the EVGA updater to thinking it's updating a For The Win 3 BIOS. So you, you get the 450 watt on your XC3. Um, so where, where there's a will, where, there's a way, right? The, those of us that are poor folk, we, we always figure out a way to do this. But let me show you this. Well, let's, this is just rebooting here. Okay, so we're back after the reboot. Now we're gonna do the update. Run as admin, sure. Do you want to, oh, I just pressed spacebar by accident. Run as admin, yes. Confirm, yes. And then it's gonna say, go ahead. Because now it thinks it's flashing over a For The Win 3. Aha, yes, I wanna confirm. Haha, tricks on you, EVGA. I get my power limit. And this was enough for my 4K benchmarks now. This made the difference. So exit, reboot, and let me show you what happens. Okay, we're back up here. Now when we go to GPU Z, check this out. Advanced NVIDIA BIOS 450 watt, baby. And this also fixes the broken power slider on the XC3. So you, it, this is definitely worth it to do on the XC3. Um, it doesn't break anything. I've tested this thoroughly. It works fine. Um, so the, the, the trick is, check this out here. The 8-pin number 1 and, and the 8-pin number 3 just mimic each other. So you don't get the full 450 watts, but you get like an extra 50. Like you get, you get an extra, you get, a, you get a decent bump. It's totally worth it. But that's how you do it. Um, again, if you just want me to send you the, the direct files, you have to do all this rigmarole shit, I can do that if you're in the Discord. Uh, other than that, do the one, two, three flash, and you're good. Okay, yeah, so I just wanted to put this in there because I know there's a lot of XC3 water block users out there uh, that aren't really comfortable shunt modding. This is a good little way to get a little bit extra performance out of your card. Um, the sh okay, so the XC3 cooler is 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 shit. It's terrible. It's it's a it's it's built for 320 watts. You know what I mean? So when I actually shunt modded my XC3, it completely overwhelmed the cooling capacity of the stock cooler. It would run at 80 C the whole time. Way too hot for my liking. But with the water block, it runs at 40. So if you have a water block. A shunt mod with the flash is the way to go. But if you're just on the stock cooler, just do the flash. Don't do a shunt mod on it. Uh, the shunt mod just overwhelms the cooler completely. It's, it's, too, it's too many watts. My card pulls like 600 watts now with the shunt and the um, the shunt and the the BIOS flash. My card's pulling 600 watts. From two A pins, it's bad shit. But I can and now I can lock it at twenty two hundred in four K, which is what I wanted. So stay tuned for future benchmarks. But I wanted to just throw that in there. The next video I'm gonna have all the benchmark numbers. Um, I'll probably be getting all the numbers tomorrow on stream anyway because I fell behind just trying to figure all this stuff out. But still invaluable information for all you XC three owners. This would probably work on any reference board as well because the XC3 is just an extended reference board. So if you have the Zotac or if you have the... What's that other model there? Galax, the base one or whatever. Try this out. It would probably work for you as well. Get a nice little 50 watt bump. And it, it makes a big difference with how these cards can stretch their legs especially in 1080p. You can clock that bitch high as hell 
with an extra 50 watts. Anyway, super quick video. Just wanted to get my discovery out there for everybody. If you found the content useful, hit that subscribe button. Do all that YouTube SEO stuff for me. And cause I, I, apparently I say it YouTube SEO, but I'm actually saying SEO, but I'm saying it so fast it sounds like SEO. Anyway, do all that YouTube SEO stuff for me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the stream. Hit up the Discord if you want me to just send you the, the 450 watt file so you can just directly flash it. And yeah, have a good one guys. Thanks for coming and I'll talk to you in the next one. See you later.